Every day, 40 million gallons of water flow from Skinny Atlas Lake to the pipes and faucets in Syracuse. That massive flood of fresh water begins in a small brick gatehouse on the shore of the lake. The water travels nearly 20 miles through a network of cast iron pipes first built in 1893. Those pipes empty into the woodland reservoir and provide the city's drinking water. Many of the pipes on that 20 mile line are more than 100 years old. The Skinny Atlas to Syracuse water line is one of only two gravity fed systems in the state. Skinny Atlas is about 200 feet higher in elevation than Syracuse, so water runs gradually downhill to the city. In all, it takes between six and seven hours for water from the lake to reach Syracuse. It is drawn from a pair of 54 inch intake pipes about one mile from the lake's northern shore. Those pipes are covered with screens of quarter inch mesh that filter out zebra mussels, fish, and debris. Skinny Atlas is known to most locals for its clean, clear water. The lake's purity is a result of a very small and rural watershed. Of the 59 square miles that comprise the watershed, half is farmland and only 5% residential. Due to the quality of the water, the gatehouse requires no filtration system. Chlorine and fluoride are added to the water, which is tested daily. It's a system built before the advent of the automobile that still provides fresh drinking water to more than 140,000 people every day.